Welcome to the Seller Roundtable e-commerce coaching and business strategies with Andy Arnott and Amy Wees. And speaking of, um, speaking of growing a following and building that, you know, starting with Instagram, how do you go about growing a following on Instagram for those of us who want to get to 10,000 followers? And you want to, and you want to start, um, right away. You want to start as soon as possible because it does take time. Um, it's, the, the number of Facebook or um, YouTube videos out there that are like, get 30,000 followers in 30 days, those annoy me so bad <laughs> because it's not true. It's not real life. Um, most of the people that will um, say that they can get you that kind of following that quickly, they're using illegal, you know, against terms of service um, bots and third party applications um, to do it. So for us, we tell people you're going to get slower growth, but you're going to have real people who might really buy your products. So when you um, use what they call black hat methods to get your traffic or to get your followers, you're getting mostly other businesses um, and fake accounts that aren't um, like what we call shell accounts. They're just made to like your to like pages. They don't actually put out any content. There's no person behind them. They're all um, automated. Um, and people who just followed you to get a follow back. So none of those people are, are going to buy from you ever. Mm -hmm. So um, I would much rather have 3,000 followers and have a lot of them interested in buying my stuff than to have 30,000 followers and get zero sales every time I post and you know, make a post. Right. So, um, so in order to, to grow that organically like that, you just have to be very targeted in what you're doing. So, and we set up systems in place. So I have, um, every single time a new post is made to our Instagram accounts, we have a set of steps that we follow. So we go through and we spend, you know, 10 minutes liking, um, stuff from our people who already follow us because you need a back and forth communication between you and the people you follow or Instagram will hide your content from them. So you don't want to forget about them once they follow you. Keep interacting with them, keep liking their stuff. Then we pick a couple of the hashtags we just used in our post and we go and we find new accounts to follow. Um, and we'll follow a certain number of accounts. And I'll tell you, um, if you have a brand new account, um, you can only do about 40 actions per hour before Instagram will, will shut you down and say like, you know, you've liked too many people and they'll, they'll pause you for a couple hours or up to 24 hours. So we, we try to stick to 40 of any one action. So we'll do 40 likes, 40 comments. Um, and we'll do that throughout the day. So we'll come, you know, a couple times, um, we'll do the post once a day, but then we'll go in and do that engagement several times a day. Um, and that's kind of the part where this is, this is not rocket science. It's not difficult to do the right things, but it takes a lot of time. And if all your money is being made in sourcing new products, um, then you want to spend your time there. So that's why people end up hiring people to do their VA work and their social media work and things like that. Right. Thanks for tuning in. Join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for live Q&A and bonus content after the recording at SellerRoundTable.com. Sponsored by the ultimate software tool for Amazon sales and growth, SellerSEO.com and AmazingAtHome.com.